Hey everyone, it's Paula and I'm here in the Cricut Craft Room and today we are going to go over everything fonts. So this is gonna be your fonts 101 class. So first things first, we're gonna hop over into Design Space and get started. All right, so here we are in our desktop um, Cricut Design Space app. And as you can see, we just have our blank screen. What we're gonna get started first is right over here with our text button. We're gonna click on that button and it adds our text box right here and just tells you, add your text. So we're just gonna say, hello. Now, as you can see, it all comes up right here and it immediately defaults to just our, our Cricut, um, our Cricut Sans. And so here in our fonts is where you can choose your fonts. So all of these that have the little A, the green A means that they're a part of our Cricut Access. So if you're a member of that, you get to use those fonts. And then if it's a font that costs money, it will tell you that there is a cost associated with it. Now, what you can do is come right over here to Cricut, and this will tell you all of our fonts that we have available. If you click all, it's all of the fonts, including the ones that come from your computer or system, is just the ones that come from your computer. All right, so we're gonna search Cricut, and it comes up with all these cute fonts. Now, right here in filter, if you want, say you wanted a writing font, you would just click here and that's going to bring up all of our fonts that can do a writing. So if we pick three birds, life's a party, this is how it's going to look in a writing font. Now, up here under style, you can do regular, bold, italic, bold, italic. Or if we go back into here, we can change it back to just regular and do clear fonts. And when we click on this, oops, sorry, my bad, we need to click regular. <laughs> so right under style, you'll click regular. And now you can see how it would cut out. This makes it a cut font. So it looks much different from writing to a cut. All right, now we're going to just look at this as as a cut file and because I think this is a super fun one and now we're just going to talk a little bit about size you can pull down here on this button and make it as small or as big as you want or you can come right up here to size we have our width and our height and right now it's locked so our proportions are going to stay together so if we change this to eight it's automatically going to adjust our height to be the correct proportion. If we wanted to change that, we would just unlock this, and now it's eight in width, but if we wanna change the height to three, it makes it look different. You can also manipulate that down here, we have this lock button. So if you click it and it unlocks it, now our button over here has four-way arrow instead of just a two-way. So now you can make it all different shapes and sizes. All right. Another awesome thing that you can do when you're working with your font is you can change the spacing. So you see with the letters here, they've all, they're all equally spaced. Right up here in our letter spacing, you can change that if you want them to be closer together, you just make that smaller and you can use the little arrow to decide how you want that to look or you can just change it here if you want them to be super close together you can do zero if you want them to be really far apart you can put five and it spaces them out so that lets you adjust the spacing of the letters in case you don't want something to be as close or as far apart as it is when it comes up automatically all right Another great thing that you can do with our fonts is you can change the color so that you can know what your project is going to look like when you are creating it. So all you have to do is, oops, sorry. All you have to do is come over here to your layers file or your layers panel. This technically has two layers, but one is hidden. If we unhide it, it gives it that little background. But if we just click right there on that, it lets us change the color right here. So we can make it blue, we can make it red, it doesn't matter. But 
this just helps you visualize it. It will not cause your vinyl or your iron on or anything to change colors. It is just for your own visual purpose. The only way that changes is if we move this to a writing file, and we're gonna wanna space those out a little bit more. Um, now you can see it's different. And if we go right over here to our line type box and we click that, now it lets us choose what pens we're using and what color. This is important, especially if you're using multiple colors, because if we choose green, it changes it to green for us. And then if we go to make it, it is going to show it here on our cut, on our cut screen. And then when we go over here to continue, it's going to connect to our machine and tell us what we need to load for our machine. It's telling us we need to add the green pen into clamp A and there's no cutting right now and then that we need to load our mat. When you have multiple colors of when you're drawing with pens using fonts, it will tell you down here, load your green pen and then it'll also say additional tools needed and it will tell you that you need a red pen and an orange pen and the machine will prompt you when you need to change those pens. So if you are using multiple colors, you definitely need to set them as they should be so you can make sure you're putting the right colors in the right places. All right, we're gonna change this guy back. And the next thing we're gonna do is alignment. Now, I am going to add another word below here. And it is going to say, hello, friend. Now, as you can see, we have too big of a space between there. You can come over here to our line space and adjust that. So you can make the space between the words bigger or smaller. And you can adjust it however you want. Now, if you go into the negatives, that makes things closer and closer and closer. So we're gonna do negative four and that brings them nice and close together. All right, now our alignment right here is going to let us choose left, center, or right. This is perfect when you don't need to arrange things in a certain way. You can align them all left, you can align them center, and you can align them right, whichever look you're going for, and that just makes everything super easy. All right, and last thing we're gonna talk about today is curve. <coughs> I am going to make this one line and then we're gonna bring it down here and I'm just gonna make it a little bit smaller so that we can see it all on one screen. All right, so here we have our little hello friend. Now, say you had a heart that you wanted to put underneath of that. We're gonna add a little heart here and we're gonna add that heart right there. Now you don't maybe want this to be just straight across over the heart. You want it to curve down a little bit, almost like it's giving the heart a hug. So you go here to your curve. Now what this lets you do is move down or up. So if you want something to curve over the top of it, you'll want to go into the positive like that. Now if you want it to maybe be underneath and curve up, you're gonna wanna go into the negative like that. Oopsies. And then it curves down around underneath your heart. And that curve, you can move and manipulate however you want that looks best for your project. You might need just a little bit of a curve. You might need a giant amount of curve. It's, it's just what you want and how you think it looks best. So if we want to give this to a friend, a little card that says hello friend with a heart, we can curve that around and it will cut it in that nice curve. All right, we are so thankful that you guys were able to join us for this Fonts 101 and we hope that you were able to learn a little bit about fonts and get ready to use your machine to do all of your favorite projects. Make sure you stay tuned for our future videos so that you can learn more about your new Cricut machine. Thanks.